Okay, here we go. We're going to make this tetrahedron. The tetrahedron is a pyramid with three, a triangular base. I'll start by drawing a line eh, about three inches from the top of my paper. I'm going to use a harder pencil than you should use. Use your sharpest, hardest pencil. I'm using a softer pencil so my lines will show up better in this drawing. Now the second line I draw is not going to be at right angles to the first line. I've set my compass to two and uh, three quarter inches. I'm going to make a small mark here anywhere on my line. I'm going to take and put the sharp point, sharp point of my compass on that, make a mark crossing the line. So I now have this one edge length here defined. I'm going to make this arc go all the way up there. So again, I'm going to make the arc go all the way from up there down to here. Then I'm going to put the sharp point back on the, where the arc crosses the line. I'm going to make an arc that crosses that first arc. You can see it right there where the two arcs cross. There's this point here, this point here, which are laid out on the line, and then this point here, which was drawn by the intersection of the two arcs made from these two points. That's going to give me an equilateral triangle. So now I can take and uh, draw in my lines, at least one of them, up to here. I'll make my first triangle. And I'll make another triangle over this way. Another edge of the triangle, I should say. I'm going to use my straight edge now, my T-square, which is, of course, held against the edge of the board. Move it up to the mark of the top of the triangle and draw a second line across. The distance between the two lines is not two and three quarter inches. It's two and three quarter inches measured at a 60 degree angle. Now I can take and mark off with my compass new places. I could go from here. And I'm ready to draw all of my lines. So I'll draw them in. I need four triangles. They can be in a row for a tetrahedron. There's my four triangles. I will now draw in approximately where I want the um, one, two, three. Let's hope we got them in the right spots. Connect there. Connect here and connect to there. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take my ballpoint pen and make the scoring marks that are so important for the nice folds. So I'll score all of my lines that I'm expecting to fold. going to get cut. That one's going to get cut, so um, these are being folded. Okay, That's the shape. Now I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so now notice I've got the cutting mat underneath. I'm not going to be cutting on top of my drawing board. So I'll do some cutting. First of all, the lines that don't have any tabs on them are going to get cut. You kind of have to remember where those lines are so you don't cut off your tabs. If you cut off a tab, no problem. You can glue a new tab back on. These are the lines that really count in terms of looking clean on the edge of your model. 
Now the ones that are the tabs, they're not so important. But they look good. They just need to be properly cut out. Notice I'm not cutting towards my hand. That one's a little skinny. Be a little harder to work with. If you prefer, you can use scissors for this. Okay, did I get everything cut out? Yep. I'm going to crease all of my edges. Crease, crease, crease along the tabs as well. This one's a little harder to crease because I made it too skinny. I'll crease it anyway. There we go. And then it can all glue together. You've seen that done before, so I won't. There's a little where well, there's a little interference right here. So I'm gonna trim this tab back a little bit. We don't need it to go all the way to the corner. It's getting in the way of the other tab there. Same on this corner here. I'll trim this tab back a little tiny bit so it doesn't interfere with the other one. Make sure those fit nicely before you start gluing things together. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah.